Good afternoon. Welcome to our comprehensive guide on navigating immigration procedures through marriage to a U.S. citizen or permanent resident, or to someone who is applying for a green card. This information is updated as of this year, 2024. My name is Don Forrest, Senior Advisor for New Ming Law Group. We have helped thousands of applicants to receive their green cards, visas, and U.S. citizenship. There's a number of scenarios I would like to go over regarding this presentation. Scenario one, marrying a U.S. citizen. First, if you marry a U.S. citizen, there's no waiting period. You can file your form I-485 for adjustment of status concurrently with your spouse's form I-130, the petition for alien relative. This concurrent filing often results in receiving your green card within about a year. If you live abroad outside of the United States, you will need to wait for your I-130 approval first and then go through consular processing for the immigrant visa. Scenario two, marrying a U.S. permanent resident. If your spouse is a U.S. permanent resident, you can file your I-485, but only several months after your spouse's I-130 petition is submitted. In this scenario, you can expect to receive your green card in several years due to the cutoff date on the current visa bulletin. Scenario three, marrying someone submitting or about to submit the I-485. If you're marrying someone who has already submitted or is about to submit a form I-485 through employment-based immigration, you can file your I-485 alongside your spouse as a derivative beneficiary. This process allows you to be included in your spouse's existing application. Scenario four, marrying someone who will apply for an employment-based green card. In cases where you marry someone who will, will apply for an employment-based green card in the future, including categories like EB-1, National Interest Waiver, or PERM, you can receive a green card together with your spouse as a derivative beneficiary. For all family-based green card applications and for employment-based immigration as a derivative beneficiary, you will need to provide proof of your marriage. This usually includes joint tax returns, joint bank accounts, joint insurance policies, and more to establish the legitimacy of your marriage. Additionally, in family-based immigration procedures, your spouse, who is either a U.S. citizen or permanent resident, will need to submit an I-864 form affirming their financial support for you. If you marry a U.S. citizen and have a child who is under 18, your child may receive a green card together with you. However, if your child is over 18, you will need to obtain your own green card first and then apply separately for your child's family-based green card. We hope this guide has been informative. For personalized advice, consider consulting our law firm, New Wei Ming Law Group, by sending us an email at info at nwmlaw.com or visit our website at www.nwmlaw.com. Thank you.